Hello, everybody. It is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness. And if you are hosting Thanksgiving this year and you cannot, or <laughs> you can not only make your life easier and stay on your fitness plan, but you can also help out some family members too. These swap ideas are great for buffet style Thanksgiving, but even if you're doing family style, there are definitely some tips that you can use. So welcome to Shape It Up. My name is Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 shape it up without crazy diets, without insane workouts, all online customized programs that you can use wherever you're at, as long as you have an internet connection. If you're interested in learning more about my online coaching, you can head to shapeitupfitness.com. All right, so let's dive into my favorite food swaps for the upcoming holiday. Um, first up is vegetable dips. You can absolutely make them a little bit healthier by using a lower fat version. Um, you can also use full fat, but um, you can also make hummus uh, and you can also blend in some cauliflower. The secret is really in the spices that you use. Okay, so also for an appetizer, you could do soup. Um, you can serve these soups in soup bowls, so they're already pre-made, pre-ready, pre-poured. They just grab them, take them back to their seat, and eat. The other thing you can do is just make sure you have small bowls ready. So, in other words, you don't want to have these huge bowls where they're just ladling a bunch of soup, unless that's the only thing they're eating, which chances are, if you're at Thanksgiving, that is not, you're not just picking one food and going with it. Um, number three, your dinner rolls. So you can skip them all together if you want. I know for me, for the longest time, that is a big part of Thanksgiving. There's something about buttered bread rolls. They're just yummy, especially when they're hot out of the oven. Um, so you can skip them if you like, but you can also get smaller portion sizes of them, the really tiny ones. Like I tend to get the Hawaiian rolls that are like really tiny. Um, everybody tends to love them. And then you don't feel like you're filling up on like this huge loaf of bread. Um, cranberry sauce. Love cranberry sauce. There's a lot of sugar in the canned version. Um, if you're looking more for convenience, that is the way to go. Just watch your portion sizes and the sugar content. Uh, I don't recommend getting any that have artificial sweeteners in it, but I do recommend you going for the real stuff. Um, add a little smidge of honey and a couple drops of orange juice, and that'll kind of balance out the acidity of the cranberries. Stuffing, right? Thanksgiving would not be the same without stuffing. Um, ditch the bag box, the bag box, the bags or the boxes, whatever stuffing comes in nowadays. Uh, it's really simple to make your own stuffing. Um, I tend to get whatever bread I'm using and then I just open up the end of the bag and just let it air out for like two or three days before Thanksgiving. That way the bread kind of dries out a little bit. You don't want it like, you know, like a brick, but you want to kind of take some of the moisture out of the bread. Um, so you can make that ahead of time, like start airing out the bread and then maybe like the day before or even two days before, um, cut the bread into cubes and then spread them over the baking sheet. You can spritz them with a little bit of olive oil and then when you're ready, bake them in the oven so they're nice and crisp. Um, and then the night before, you can actually make your stuffing ahead of time. Now, again, these are not for people that are stuffing the bird. But if you want to make stuffing on the stove, you can do that and then just reheat it the next day. I do have a very yummy recipe, and that's not the only recipe that is yummy that I have. But if you go to shapeitupfitness.com, you can opt in and get my free Thanksgiving meal plan. It's what I use. Um, they are so delicious and healthy foods. So if you want that, check it out at shapeitupfitness.com. All right. Um, you can also swap out stuffing for wild rice with cranberries, and you can maybe even throw some almonds in that. There's so many recipes out there, um, you know, for those who are enthusiastic about making a lot of food. Um, my philosophy, if you followed me for any long length of time, I, I'm not a chef. Um, I like to keep my stuff very simple and quick and easy to do and make it healthy. So that is what you're going to get from me if you download that um, meal plan or the meal for Thanksgiving. All right, mashed potatoes. You can swap out half of your mashed potatoes for mashed cauliflower. 
Now, potatoes itself, I mean, they are a vegetable. They're not horrible for you at all. But if you want to add a little bit more fiber, just put in some mashed cauliflower in there. Make sure you drain your cauliflower really well because it's usually very um, moist. Um, so that way your potatoes don't turn out watery. Or if you really want to go crazy, you can go full tilt and just do mashed cauliflower. Um, my suggestion is don't tell anybody that you did mashed cauliflower unless you have like two options or something. But see if they notice the difference. Um, so that is another option for you as well. Sweet potato casserole. I don't know about you, but this was like my absolute favorite growing up. Um, candied yams, you know, lots of brown sugar and orange juice and I don't know, syrup. Definitely marshmallows on top, roasted. And again, nothing wrong with that. But if you're going more healthier, you could still add some more marshmallow or still add marshmallows, but just don't do as much marshmallows. Um, go easier on the brown sugar. Um, sprinkle crushed pecans or walnuts on top. That'll give that crunch, uh, you know, kind of like bulk it up a little bit. Um, green bean casserole. I find that people either love it or they hate it. <laughs> Uh, I do love my mom's um, green bean casserole. It's made with mushroom soup. I can't really eat it now because I am lactose intolerant. But um, you can use lower sodium cream of mushroom soup. You can, if you're going for lower fat options, you can also do that. Um, sometimes if you add some sauteed portobello mushrooms in there, that'll help give it a little bit more meat to it um, or more texture. So, and the other thing too is most people put the fried onions on top, the canned fried onions. Um, if you have an air fryer, air fry your onions. Um, you're gonna have to coat them, but air fry them in the fryer and you can use that or you can pan fry the onions for a more caramelized and more, um, more sweetness of the onion and you can put that in your green bean casserole. Um, as far as vegetables are concerned, Take advantage of what's available in the season. You can also experiment with different vegetables like Brussels sprouts and squash. Um, I know I used to make, and I think I'm gonna make it this year, is um, acorn squash soup. And it's actually in the half of the acorn squash. And to me, it's delicious. Um, and if you were paying attention earlier, it comes already in a little serving size, um, ready for you to eat. Next, of course, we can't forget the turkey. Um, I say go for it with the turkey. Eat whatever part you want, dark meat, light meat, skin, whatever. I personally love the dark meat, and I love the dark meat with the skin. Um, where I was actually talking to some clients this morning. We were talking about how, like, like for me personally, I love to have a little bit of everything in one bite. So it'll be like turkey, a little bit of cranberry, a little bit of um, gravy, a little bit of stuffing, and and. Oh, and, and skin and just all in there in one bite. So I say go for it with the turkey. Uh, on to desserts. Pumpkin pie, my favorite part of the pumpkin pie is actually the inside. Um, and I like to put whipped cream, now it's dairy free whipped cream, but whipped cream on top. I don't really care too much about the crust. I can take it or leave it. Um, so I make the inside of the pie. And if you're really set on having the crust part, which some people are, you can also lighten it up with using a little bit less sugar or make the pie crust a little bit thinner. Um, with any pies, if you really have some time, you can make individual ramekins of the pies. That way they're like in serving sizes. Again, I know that's probably a little more time consuming, but some people may really enjoy making tiny little pies that are like personal sized pies. Um, or you could even do like pie versions of like a cupcake sort of. So those are options for you too as well. So with all these swap ideas, keep in mind that is really about um, how you're feeling physically. Like your stomach should be growling before you're eating and you don't want to overstuff yourself. I know with me for Thanksgiving, I do tend to overeat, but it's not like really horrible. So yes, it's kind of an expectation that you overeat and you don't have to overeat for sure. Um, but the thing that comes down to it is, is if you were overeating on Thanksgiving and then maybe like three other days out of the year, 
it's not a big deal. But if you're over consuming throughout the year more times than you're under consuming, especially if you're trying to lose weight, um, that's where it backfires. And that's where you really kind of struggle because, you know, people that I coach, they're like, but I want to have Thanksgiving and I want to, they're like in this restriction mode and you can absolutely have Thanksgiving. Um, I think if you followed me like in person on a daily basis, you'd probably be shocked at how much food I actually eat <laughs> and what it is that I eat. Um, so remember, it's really about whether you're hungry, how full you are and portion sizes. Um, don't forget, you know, this is supposed to be a day for being grateful for what we have and the bounty that we have. Um, and you know our family and friends um so focusing on that sometimes and some people i know are not too thrilled to be hanging out with their family maybe you're having a friends giving and that's totally awesome as well but the key is to have your head in the right headspace so you can enjoy thanksgiving so if you want help with putting a complete program together for you to help you not only navigate through the holiday season, because if you don't know, the average person will gain 10 to 15 pounds this holiday season. And if you haven't lost the weight that you're trying to lose initially, you're adding on 10 to 15 pounds for the next year. So if you want help with that, head over to shapeitupfitness.com um, and you can check out the uh, online coaching and I'd be happy to talk to you and help you and kind of direct you if you need help. All right, so have a wonderful day. Um, definitely stay tuned on the Shape It Up channel because I'm going to be giving some turkey tips from now all the way up till Thanksgiving. So have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. Take care.